Okay, here I have a 2007 Jeep Compass with the 2.4. And I am going to show you how to change the crankshaft position sensor. Um, I saw another video of a guy showing this, which, I mean, he did really good. And this is where I got the gist of uh, how to do it. But um, basically this is the top end of the motor. The top part is removed. He mentioned to uh, remove the air box where the air filter is. And then to go back, well, I guess to remove the hoses and stuff, all the connections, hold them to the side. Take off the negative wire off the battery. So what he was saying was, back here, there's a piece of metal, right here, this piece of metal holding all these wires together, like little, uh, little tie downs and stuff. And he said to remove this piece of metal, which goes all the way down to almost where the transmission goes. But um, I figured out an easier way. You didn't even have to do all this stuff. So basically, here we go. Have patience. Going under the car now. So obviously you gotta jack up the car. All right, and basically you have the transmission right here. This is the transmission. And here is the back of the block of the engine. And then um, here's where the block meets the transmission, right here. So if you see where my hand is, you're gonna see the same piece of metal that he said to remove. And I figured out you don't even have to remove it. So I left uh, the ratchet there just so you see where the screw, where the bolt is. So basically that, that bolt is a 13 millimeter. So you take a 13 millimeter and you unscrew that. Okay, once you unscrew the, the bolt, this metal is so thin that you can actually bend it back to about up here. And once you bend it back, it exposes the crankshaft uh, position sensor, which is right here where my finger is, see? See where it follows? And it's right behind the thin piece of metal. So once you move that, it's exposed and you can see the plug and, and you will feel your way. And then above the plug, you'll see, well, you won't be able to see, you'll feel a 10 millimeter bolt. So you take a 10 millimeter socket with the same, uh, with the same uh, ratchet. You see, I'm using a small quarter inch ratchet. Okay. Well, once you unscrew that, that 10 millimeter, you could just, I mean, you'll, you gotta take out the bolt all the way. So, and then once you take out the bolt, I'm trying to see if I can, okay, here you go. The sensor is right here. So once you take out the bolt, I mean, you gotta play around with it, you know, cause it, the sensor being in there for so long, it's probably gonna be fused in there a little bit. So what you gotta do is just gotta wiggle it. You gotta give it time. It's not gonna come out right away. Just wiggle it and then eventually it'll just pop off. And then once you pop it off, you could just unplug it, replace it with the new one. And then once you replace it with the new one, put it back in, put the 10 millimeter bolt back in. Then all you have to do is just bend this piece of metal back into place. And then put the 13 millimeter back in, screw it in. And that's pretty much it. Now, with this sensor, the instructions it tells people well basically this is the this is the old one I just put in the new one now so in case you're wondering how it looks that's that's basically how it looks this one is old and corroded and it looks pretty much shot but um, in the instructions that comes in inside the box basically it uh, it basically says that uh, once you put it in, you have to, uh, yeah, I can hold it there for a couple of seconds so you can, you can read it. 
So you gotta reset it with the with the diagnostic tool, the check engine light, you know, you just reset it, and then once you reset it, you have to do like three pulls at 70 miles an hour, but once you hit 70, you just let go of the throttle and uh, let it coast down to 40 miles an hour, and you have to do this three times in order for the in order for the ECU slash computer, whatever you want to call it, um, to relearn and uh, notice that there's a new component in there. And uh, once you do that, everything should be fine. Um, so yeah, again, you don't have to remove all this stuff. You can just do it from underneath, do it the same way I just showed you. And um, that's pretty much it. Oh, and I and I and I picked up this uh, this new sensor crankshaft position sensor at uh, AutoZone and um, it cost me $12.99 altogether it was like $14 and change so yeah I hope that uh, helps out and uh, for all you uh, Jeep Compass uh, people out there which I know you love a Jeep Compass because you know ever since uh, I took this over from my wife it became my winter beater and um, yeah once it hit 70,000 miles it's been giving me nothing but problems but uh it's a Jeep. What do you expect? I mean, it is what it is. So, hope you like. Press the subscribe button. And uh, leave any comments if you want. Uh, and uh, any comments will be appreciated. Take care, guys. Have a good day.